So if you are someone who wants to build a SaaS using AI tools, then you should check out this new tool from Amazon called Kiro. In today's video, we will be creating a SaaS using Kiro and we will be learning how Kiro is different than Cursor. When you should use Cursor, when you should use Kiro. Kiro works on a concept called Spec Driven Development and you will see how Spec Driven Development is so important in creating a SaaS product. So if you are someone who is serious about creating an app, then you should watch this video. You will be learning about how product engineering works, how product management works. So without wasting any further time, let's move into the system. Okay, so let's start with understanding how Kiro is different than existing IDs such as Cursor and Windsurf. So why do you need to use Kiro? Where do you need to use Cursor? So let's understand that. So Kiro works on a principle of spec driven coding. This means that you don't start coding directly. You will specify the requirement first. So Kiro can help you in planning your project, what you need to do and then it will start the coding. So it comes with two modes, vibe mode and spec mode. And if you want to utilize it at the best, you should be using spec driven coding. Because if you are doing spec driven coding, you will be much aware of what AI is exactly doing and how you are, you know, coping up with the AI. So this is where Kiro is different than Cursor and Windsurf. Cursor, you can do spec driven coding, but to understand spec driven coding, you must be able to understand code. So for a coder, coder can do a spec driven coding because coder can provide a specification, a spec file we can provide, right? बिजनेस टर्म में इसको हम पीआरडी बोलते हैं बीआरडी बोलते हैं बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स प्रोडक्ट रिक्वायरमेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड फ्रॉम अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ इट दैट हाउ स्पेक ड्रिवन कोडिंग वर्क्स बट फॉर द नॉन डेवलपर्स और नॉन कोडर्स वो आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो मेक अ प्रोडक्ट आउट ऑफ इट उनके लिए इट्स बेटर टू हैव कीरो बिकॉज दे विल लर्न हाउ यू नो हाउ टू क्रिएट अ प्रोडक्ट एंड स्पेक ड्रिवन कोडिंग में होता क्या है सो लेट्स गो टू डॉक्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ स्पेक ड्रिवन कोडिंग वर्क्स So I think this is where Kiro outshines Cursor in terms of spec driven coding because if you see in any software engineering team or any product management team whenever you create a product you break down your requirements and that's exactly what Kiro does for you so if you are working with Kiro you are exactly learning how project engineering how product engineering works so we break down our requirements we use tools like Jira we to use tools like Trello or Azure DevOps. So what exactly happens whenever a software teams works on a product, they gather a scrum master, they gather a product owner, and then they work together to break down the exact requirement. So for example, let's say if I want to create a application and I have a login page. So my responsibility as a developer, my scrum master will give me a user story and the user story will be named as let's say create a login page with this functionality and i'll create a task for myself so this is what exactly kiro is doing kiro is breaking down your requirements creating tasks creating design documents and then implementing your process right your progress so whenever we provide kiro a prompt kiro will create three files a requirement file a design file and then a implementation file so implementation file will have all the user stories and the implementation plan and then there is one more thing I would like to highlight, the steering document. So steering document is nothing, it's a document which tells what exactly your product is working and it can generate a steering files based on your project. So let's say if you are working on something which you do not know and you import that project in Kiro and generate a steering document. Kiro will generate the steering document, it will go through every file and tell you what exactly this project do, what is the tech stack how the structure of the code has been written. So all those things Kiro will guide you. So right now Kiro is in preview mode and it is not available for public download. And if you want to download Kiro, you can join the waitlist. You will get the download link or the token in few days. So I tried it and I got it in few days only. So, so right now it's a good time to download the product because if you see the pricing, they are giving 100 spec and 100 vibe requests free for 14 days. So you can create 100 specifications, 100 vibe requests and along with 50 vibe requests which is in their free plan. So this is sufficient if you want to start with something and you can utilize this. So now let's go to Kiro and let's start creating a SaaS product and I'll show you how exactly this works. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a project. We are going to create that project in Kiro and then we are going to use Kiro and see how spec driven coding works. So let me create my directory 
सो लेट मी गो टू माय रूट डायरेक्टरी एंड क्रिएटेड ओके सो बेसिकली व्हाट आई एम डूइंग आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ डायरेक्टरी हेयर जस्ट फॉर कीरो सो लेट मी नेम दिस डायरेक्टरी एज सो माय प्रॉम्प्ट वुड बी ऑन अ टिकट मैनेजर सो आई एल आई एल क्रिएट अ फोल्डर नेम एज टिकट मैनेजर then i am going to go inside this folder and i am going to run kiro here so if you type kiro it will open kiro for you okay so now i am inside my project and abhi ye blank file hai there is nothing inside this project and now what we have to do we have to understand how kiro works first before straight away writing the code so if you see the ui of kiro it's pretty much similar to cursor and visual studio code because because all of these tools are visual studio folk so ye sab visual studio ke upar hi bane hue hain they are the extended versions of vs code and it's pretty much straight forward there is a source control that means you can link it to your github there is run and debug option to debugging there is extension you can download the extension and there is a kiro small ghost icon which is basically what your spec driven coding and everything will come up here so if you see there are specs there are agent steerings there are mcp servers so you can implement your tools here now on the center panel you will see there are two things mentioned vibe and spec driven coding so vibe is nothing it's similar to what cursor is doing this is what we are going to test we are going to test a spec driven coding how this is going to create a specs so what i am going to do let me write a prompt so let's say we are going to create a application for ticketing support so i am going to write create a application for ticketing and support for my organization let's say i want to create something like this and by default kiro is taking cloud sonnet 4.0 you can change the model to 3.7 so two models are available in kiro so either you can use 4.0 or 3.7 so i am going to send this and now what kiro will do kiro will analyze it and it will create a plan for me so now if you see it has started creating the ticketing support system specification dot document so this is the first document that it will create it's a requirements file that what exactly we need and we have to evaluate this we have to go through this requirement file and see whether this is what we were expecting or not and in center you can see there are requirement design and task list so basically these are the three phases that kiro is going to implement so first it will create a requirement file then it will go to the design phase and then it will go to the implementation phase and you have noticed how simple our prompt was we have literally gave two line of prompt and it is creating a requirement file out of this document so this is what exactly kiro is good at it analyze what you are trying to make and then it will give you the plan as per them your prompt can be bigger your prompt can be more precise and if you want to utilize it at its full potential you can give a better prompt and it will create a plan according to it so let's see what requirement file it has created so if you notice that it has created requirement and then it has created a user story so that this is what i was explaining a user story is something that i need to implement in order to complete my project right so as a customer i want to submit a support ticket through multiple channels so that i can get help when i need it using my preferred communication method and what is the acceptance criteria for this when a customer access a support portal then the system shall display tickets so basically these are all the acceptance criteria if these are not met this feature is not you know marked as closed accept all these criteria and then we can mark the feature as closed so that our first implementation will be marked as complete so once you validate all the requirement i am right now i am not going through everything but once you validate every requirement if you want to change it you can again you know revalidate it and ask kiro to change it then you can go to design phase and you will have the option to move to design phase now what kiro will do it will create a design for it it will structure the code how it is going to plan the code and then it will move to the next implement state so if you see now kiro is creating a design file design.md md stands for markdown file this is a markdown file which we are right now seeing here 
So now if you see it has created a design document and it is telling like what exactly how our application is going to work, what technology stack this application is going to use. So we are going to use Node.js, Express.js, PostgreSQL for data storage, right? Redis cache for caching, authentication, JRuby token. So see, even if you want to change the authentication type, you can ask Kiro to change it. You can move it part to the chat or once the design is ready, you can always, you know, uh, decline the design and add Kiro to change the design as per your requirement and then finally it has given me the unit testing so all those testing implementation that it, it is going to do so those are also here so now our design is created now it will move to the implementation phase and I'll show you quickly how the implementation phase will look like it might be looking a long process but this is a necessary process in order to create any successful product or SaaS because you cannot create something just by doing wipe coding. You can do it if you are a coder, but if you are not something who is much technical, then you should be able to understand what plan exactly you want to do. And then you should implement those plans. So I would say it's a good thing that it is giving you this much information. Now we are going to the next step that is called implementation plan. And now it will create the tasks for us. So what, how the task will happen and then I'll show you how to write your first piece of code. So what exactly Kiro will do then we'll see. So now it will move to the third step and in the left panel you can see Kiro has created three files design requirement and the final file task. So this is the task that it will start for us. So now it has created the implementation plan and you'll see an icon called start task right. So this is our first task that we need to set up a project structure and core configuration then a second task implement database layer and core data models and if you see it is referring the which requirement it is fulfilling right so if you go to the requirements you will see which requirement exactly it is fulfilling so you can always have the you know details from which task is referred to which requirement for example if i'll go to here implement ticket categorization and priority management so it's saying requirement 5.1 so what is my requirement number five? My fifth requirement is a support agent that I want to categorize and prioritize tickets, right? So all the tasks are related to or connected to the requirements. So if you see on a brighter side, you are learning project management. You are learning how Jira works, how Trello works, how Azure DevOps work. You have a user story and then you have a task. Kiro is helping you to learn all those things also. So once our task, so once our implementation plan is also completed. So now what we are going to do, we are going to start these tasks. So the moment I'll click on start task, it will switch to wipe mode. Right now we were in spec mode. Now in the implementation, after the implementation phase, if I'll click on start task, it will go to the wipe mode. Okay, so once my tasks are okay, I'll click on finalize task list and it will finalize the task and I can start the task. So now I have executed the first task and now it's under vibe mode. So now Kiro will implement everything and slowly what it will do based on the first task, it will create the package JSON. So basically it will structure the code. So our initial task is the project structure. So you will see backend, frontend, the node modules, everything it will start showing it here and it will run some queries. So the first task is completed and Kiro has created the initial architecture and base structure of the project and there are few issues but I think that can be fixed and if you see in the task the first task is marked as completed and on the left panel right panel sorry you can see what structure it has created now we can go for the second task and I'll quickly fast forward this and we'll come up with the final product what this has created. So I'll just run the start task and then we'll see on the final product. So now the initial design is ready and I have skipped few of the tasks and I have implemented the basic backend and then a front end UI. Also I have set up my database so few users we have seeded so there are few users who can log in so customer manager admin and agent. So now let's try the app and let me run the app so I'm going to run the backend and I'm going to run the front end. So both of the port I'll run and and one thing I like the most that it is following TDD approach. So that's called test driven development. 
So every time it's creating a new functionality, it is writing a unit test case first. So when you write unit test along with your application, so it makes your application robust and it's there are less chances that it will break. So it's a good thing that it is following a strict TDD approach. So every time you know you write a single line of extra code it is writing a test case so it's a bit of time consuming but i think it's good if you want to have a serious development so it you should follow tdd so let me try login in so let me try as admin so these are the four users that we have created so this is the first user and all the api endpoints are up and running hopefully it will log in successfully uh let me open the network tab and let's log in so it has hit this endpoint okay successfully logged in great and this is the ui so i think this is okay because uh, ui prompt we haven't provided anything and this is professional looking ui it's okay and what else we have we have a dashboard we have user management we have system settings analytics so all those things was part of our plan but we have skipped to the ui so we have skipped many of the plan in between uh, the task in between so that's fine so let me log out and log in as a customer first and see what ui i am getting as a customer so this is my customer id customer123 login okay so this is the customer ui and customer fees will see a dashboard a create new ticket which is not working right now my tickets create tickets so i think yeah this is very nice and uh, using the planning it came up we came up with this and obviously all these implementation of all these functionalities is part of our plan we have skipped few of the tasks so it has not created but the better your prompt and the better your planning is you will be able to achieve it and mostly well you will see that the code structure that it has followed it has the front end separately created and it has a build specifically created so all those st standard coding uh, practices it is following and i would say if you want to implement something thoroughly with plan this is a very good alternative of cursor because cursor you can do it with cursor if you have the specification documentation you ask cursor to follow that but if you do not have in case and if you want to build it using this so i would say this is better in terms of cursor what i found till now i am not saying that cursor is not bad but till now my opinion is it's better the commands are running quicker than cursor the sometime cursor's command you know got stuck but uh, commands here are running perfectly fine so i found it useful i will test it further more uh, but as per the use case if the planning is main thing and if you want to work together as a team if you want to have someone you can guide you like what we are building i think this is a good alternative of cursor and windsurf and yeah that's all for today's video and i hope you like this video if you like this video consider hitting that like button and consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video peace